four-year-old Mathieu can walk to his doctor's office now. Proof, living proof, they're there. We did it. Their parents say Mathieu and Michel have made startling progress in their fight against cerebral palsy. They say Michel, although he can't walk, is stronger, quicker, and more agile than he was just a few weeks ago. And he's able to sit on a regular kitchen chair and eat his toast. Now, it doesn't sound like a big thing to a lot of people, but for Michel that is, because the minute you put him down on the table before, or at a table before, he would clutch it like this, and he could sit there, but you would see he would be strained, and he'd be going, and eventually the, the hands would come in and be fisted. I walk in from work and all that, and he's going to get up on his knees, and he's going to sit. Just look at me, Dad, you know, your hands in the air, and you see he's still trying to balance himself, but still, he's sitting up. He's sitting up. And uh, to me, it's, it's a good, a big game. This is what the twins were like four months ago. Mathieu needed leg braces, or he'd fall over. Michelle's muscles were too tight to move. Meanwhile, their parents had been hearing more and more about something called hyperbaric oxygen treatment, a treatment available in Canada, but only for burn victims or athletic injuries. Jean-Pierre and Claudine Nadeau raised enough money to take their sons to England, where the oxygen treatment is used for brain damage patients. There were no guarantees it would work, but treatment for cerebral palsy here is so limited, they jumped at the chance. Is the brother in Okay, so I'll hold it up a little bit. Is that better? The theory is, in this sealed tank, oxygen makes it into parts of the brain it couldn't get to before, actually reviving damaged cells. The twins had four weeks of the treatment. Doctors here in Canada didn't know what to make of the treatment. There are few Canadian studies. So the twins' doctor was eager to see what the trip to England could have possibly accomplished. Michel, come and touch my finger. You can, look at it. <laughs> You're good. On the other side now. Dr. Pierre Marois can tell with a brief examination whether there's an improvement. There's a big, big change there. It's incredible. This was so stiff. The coordination, the balance, Marois is impressed. In fact, he's surprised at how impressed he is. It's incredible. And he already has more function with his hand. Yeah. The doctor says he's never seen such a drastic improvement without surgery, and that he's going to do all he can to make sure other kids can have the treatment here at home. It's opening uh, my mind on um, a new approach now. I talk already with a lot of my colleagues about using uh, eventually an hyperbaric chamber here in Montreal for uh, patients with head trauma or uh, cerebral palsy. It was very evident that he, he saw what I had seen, and I'm very encouraged. It just means now I'm going to go, rather than tiptoeing, I'm going to go very sure-footed and stand straight and tall and just forge ahead. The twins are already scheduled to go back to England for more treatment in October. Thank you very much. But they're hoping that from now on, they won't have to travel so far to keep up the treatment that gives them so much hope. For Life Signs, I'm Tracy.